<laughs> well, what a, what a journey, what a journey. I think we're a couple of months in for the CDM experience into Australia. I was obviously fortunate enough, uh, thanks to you Paul, to get a tour through the CDM, the, uh, the Darwin class down in Melbourne. And for me, that was a, quite the experience chatting with the captain and uh, he told me a story which I already knew this was something that's going to go ballistic in my opinion in our part of the world but hearing it from him um, solidified solidified that and what the story was we had that lockdown the mini lockdown in Sydney last uh, you know beginning in coming into Christmas New Year's period and the owner um, wanted the boat in Sydney. They were there in Sydney, ready for his summertime enjoyment. Lockdown happened. He owners in Melbourne, boats in Sydney, and a, a wonderful East Coast low decides to pump its way through uh, through our part of the world. Huge seas, commercial Absolutely. ports were closed. We had boats on beaches, massive swirls. Um, so what do they do? Up anchor, just steam south, straight to Melbourne, through it all. Got to Melbourne, got on the radio, coming into port, and literally the call was, what are you doing out there? Absolutely. <laughs> that was the call Absolutely. on the radio. I was just like, and what I took from that was, it's limitless. The, the, the options are limitless. This is the new style of Explorer yacht. Um, uh, it's a, it's, it's, you know, it's giving owners in our part of the world what they need for our conditions. It is, it is, and you know, I, I guess a lot of the company motto was don't be limited by your imagination. Yeah. And um, you know, we've had we've had numerous stories like that. Yep. Where people have gone out. Yes, some of the crew have gotten sick yep. on the way. Yep. But the difference is the boat did the trip and it got there in one piece without any broken cabinets or broken um, broken china or glasses. Correct. But yeah, we got there and that's that, that's the exciting part about CDM. Correct. And what we do. Correct. And and so it was a little over a year ago now, it was clear to us that uh, you know the world's changed. A lot of Australians who did have boats that were you know in the med did or do have boats in the med and do that style of cruising. That wasn't going to be open to us for a period of time, and that's that has you know come true. And many of them were bringing their boats home to Australia, um, but maybe being faced with a new reality that wow, we've got yeah. You know, ginormous distances. We don't have facilities to service these style of yachts. We've got the best patch of the world, you know, down here. The South Pacific is just amazing. We've got so many wonderful destinations, but they're far, and they've not serviced by anyone or anything, and you're out there on your own. And the style of boats that a lot of owners had, you know, enjoyed in the Med, and can still enjoy in that sort of Sydney, Gold Coast with Sundays uh, region where we do have some good facilities but once you leave that part of our world you know you're on your own um, and, and that's where I think you saw it and quite interestingly a few Australians and New Zealanders have also well, seen it. Not only we saw that but a lot of these boats that came back they were boats that were not designed for those conditions. Yep. They were doing the trips and now the owners are realising that um, the, the, the boats aren't built for that. They're built for the Met. Yeah. Which is absolutely beautiful. Yep. And it's, you know, we're built for Sydney Harbour. A lot of the plastic boats are not designed for that. Apart from the economy, apart from the reliability, apart from the range, yep. they just didn't have the build quality. Yep. So we're at a point now where I think we're in a real sweet spot or a real, a really good space where people are realising if they want to do that East Coast, you know, if you're living on in Brisbane and you want to go to Christmas Island, it's actually closer to go to Christmas Island than it is to go to Canada. Yeah. And, you know, people, you know, we, we are doing that. And, and, and with boats that have got ranges between five and 8,000 nautical miles, yeah. you can do that. You actually have a world traveller. Yeah, our region is open. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, a perfect example is, is of, of a boat that's recently arrived into Australia, yep. Melbourne-based owner. Came into Sydney, came to the Gold Coast, up to Airlie Beach at the moment, yep. coming back to the Gold Coast at yep. Gold Coast City Marine for some um, maintenance work, then heading to the Kimberley, Papua New Guinea, Southeast Asia. Amazing. And most of our owners do that. They will actually, the boats continue travelling and the owners will meet them at the different destinations.
location. Yeah. And I guess now with COVID, what a great opportunity to isolate oh, on your own boat, oh, yeah. wherever you really want. Yeah, yeah. Now this is probably a basic question, but I'm sure a lot of people are asking this CDM, an Italian shipbuilder calling calling it the Darwin class. Is there any connection to our part no, of the it's world? Not. It's the original build right. and the Darwin class is is what a lot of people still love. They love that forward raking screen. Yeah. And a lot of the inquiry is still within that. Yep. Um, we've gone into the um, RJ series, yep. which is now becoming very popular. And popular and proudly I can say we sold the fourth one. <laughs> yesterday. Two days ago, yeah, yeah, which two is days ago okay. for us, right. which is a um, a new build for an Australian Queensland Queensland based client. Yep. Um, the Norta Air series, which is something a bit more uh, a bit more of a modern line. So the beauty is the shipyard, as much as they're a custom builder, they're building boats to cater for people that like the more modern look. Yeah. So yep. that's where we're at. And which, that's which is a success. And, and it's just great because I mean the style of the Darwin class that will never go out of fashion. Absolutely. That, that's, that's timeless. I was told that yesterday. Oh, it's, it's, it's. I mean, it's it's. it's Obvious. You know, they're such they're, they're beautiful from every angle. But you know, you showed me the renders of that RJ 115, which you signed up uh, two days ago. That's beautiful from every angle. It's like, you know, I, I just love that boat. And you know, for me, uh, aesthetics is, is super important. But understanding capabilities, you know, uh, hydrodynamics, the, the strength and, and the range of that vessel just takes it into its own new world. Dan, regardless right. of the boat and the model and the look, yep. CDMs comes from a commercial building background. Exactly. Their boats, were, they, they were, their, 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 I guess their specialty was building a hundred meter oil riggers or gas liners. Yep. And they were boats that were built to handle any condition for a long period of time. Because yep. they were there to make money for the owners. Yep. CDM has actually continued that where they design a boat with the engineering first. Yes. And then they will move to the aesthetics. Yep. Our, our, our CDM product, you can actually stand underneath the engines. Yeah. And yep. that's something that is something that an engineer and a captain will be able to do servicing on the way. Yep. You know, the, the, the motors are running to, uh, uh, are um, now rated to run continuously, like ocean liners. Yeah. And yep. that's, that's the difference. We are truly building a boat that is going to put up and, and basically go with the conditions that any conditions that we can offer yeah yeah well look paul um i'm excited for you this is this has been you. you know a Thank great you. experience to to be involved with Thank along you. the way a little bit I, I thoroughly enjoyed um that day going out and, and you know viewing that darwin class true blue uh, and we'll cut to some shots of that coming in through the heads that was just amazing and my uh my mate who also actually owns one yes um he asked me he sent me a text you know how did she look how did she look coming in through the heads because there were some big swells that day and the first thing that came to mind for me was it was like a tank rolling through hedges nothing was going to stop that boat nothing was going to stop it and and you know we had the benefit of flying the drone around from every angle and it was just awesome it was just awesome to see as you say it was a, like a ship like a ship coming in through the head so um, I think I think you're on to a good thing I think the Australians and New Zealanders um, agree <laughs> about the number well, of boats. just a little thing we had a New Zealander actually in yesterday yeah. he said I want to buy a boat I want to buy a boat that won't date yep I've got a budget which was well within what we could offer him yep but I want it to hand down to my kids yeah and I want to hand it down to their kids so now to me that was like wow yeah we can offer that yeah you can and we can yeah, yeah. absolutely Ford Truly a Darwin class. Yeah, yeah. Serious, absolutely. Yeah, well, look, great. Thank you for the chat, Paul. Thank you, Dan. Thank um, you for your support. Watch, really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, watch this space. Uh, we're looking forward to doing more videos and all the CDMs that do come through our part of the world. So, looking forward to keeping you in the loop. All the best. Thank you. So, there's a bit of a change happening in the Australian superyacht climate at the moment. A lot of people are realising, you know what? This is a nice place to go boating. Southeast, Southeast Asia is a nice place to go boating. Australia, New Zealand is a fantastic place to go boating. But to do that, you need a boat that can go places. You need a boat 
that's perhaps a little bit more capable than what you find in the Mediterranean. You need a boat with range, strength and integrity. And today, we're on one such boat. This is CDM from Italy. An amazing piece of kit designed to take you anywhere.